do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something crazy. So, this person, this man, found out that his wife that he's been with since they were 13 years old, they've been together for over 25 years, his wife cheated on him with another man. Now, you know what type of heartbreak it is to get cheated on by someone that, you know, you, you truly love and trust? Now imagine that times 100 million because you've been with them since you were 13, since you first learned how to freaking walk. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Anyways, you finna watch this. It's a whole Reddit story. I be loving these little Reddit story things. They be crazy. And hopefully this is just as crazy as the other ones I'll be watching. But if you're excited for this video, smash the like button and let's just hop right into this, man. Wife and I together since we were 13, married for 25 years, find out she had an affair when the other guy tried to commit suicide five days ago. For sake of understanding, I will name my daughters. The oldest is Sarah, the twins are Amanda and Amelia, and my youngest is Emily. My daughters were basically my shadows growing up. I'm extremely close to the twins and Emily. Sarah is a different story. We were very close when she was a kid. Once she was around 17 to 18, she started acting out and put a lot of distance between us. Since that she kept she knew you were finna start clapping somebody else. And more distant from me. I've tried several times to bond with her, but she always kept me at arm's length. When I got home I told my daughters that I had arrived and went to see my dogs, they arrived shortly after. They were all very emotional, we talked for hours, I admit that I cried a bit, a lot, we hugged together, I received tons of kisses. They were very surprised at how their mother could do something like that to me, they said that it changed how they view their mother, it went on and on, with them basically talking about their mother in a very unpleasant way. It was a bit shocking, to be honest, I felt extremely uncomfortable hearing them saying that stuff about her. In normal circumstances I would never allow them to speak about her in that way. I was very surprised at how vocal they were, especially Sarah. Sarah adored her mother. They were very close and even though she saw the mess I was her reaction felt strange. We ordered dinner, had a nice meal together, laughed a bit, I decided to drink a bit to numb myself before bed, drank a little too much, and went to sleep. Sarah woke me up. She told me that she was having trouble in sleeping and asked me if she could sleep with me that night. I was very surprised, she was a very sick kid growing up. She was diagnosed with leukemia when she was barely three, and she had problems sleeping on her own. Until she was almost eight the only way she could fall asleep was with her head on my chest. She got on the bed, snuggled with me, her head on my chest just like when she was a kid. I was almost sleeping again when she began crying. She was basically having a panic attack, mumbling words I just couldn't understand in Portuguese. We have this habit in the family. My parents when they were really excited or emotional started speaking Portuguese out of nowhere. My daughters and I inherited that as well. She kept saying that it was all her fault, that she was sorry for doing that to me. Eventually, the others woke up and I was able to calm down Sarah. Eventually they started speaking, it was all in Portuguese so I will try to summarize the whole thing. Apparently, seven months ago Amelia went back home earlier one day and caught my wife and Bill brother in the act. My wife begged her to not tell anyone. So he, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, the wife? Wait, so the daughters knew that... They, they dad was getting cheated on and the wife was sleeping with her brother because he said Bill, which is the brother. OK, it just got a little more spicy, which obviously meant that Amelia told Amanda and that Amanda told Emily, which meant that Anna told Emily. They just can't keep a secret between themselves. Sarah confronted my wife and she gave all sorts of excuses. In the end, she promised Sarah that she would stop and begged her to not tell me. Sarah was able to convince the rest of the girls to not tell me to make things even worse. My wife is not even a little smart. Two months after Dang, Amelia found her in our girl. house, Emily caught them in my wife's car. Cue the same thing, my wife begging our girls to not tell me, that she was just weak, that she still loved me and couldn't afford to lose me. Sarah was able to convince the rest of the girls to not tell me. Sarah, real op. Sarah is the ops. This is Sarah. Sarah is the ops. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sarah keeps. Okay. Again. So, so boom, let's talk about this, right? So if there was like a murder, right? And you saw the murder happening. You're an accomplice to the, to, the, to, the, to the crime. Same thing with cheating. You saw the cheating happen. You saw your mother getting boondy downed inside the car by your uncle. And you just kept it on the low because your mama asked you to. Instead of telling your father that the woman that he's loved since he was 13 years old is cheating on him with his brother. And they were all crying and hugging me at that point. Sarah was hugging me so tightly that I honestly thought my ribs would break at any moment. 
Then it started making sense. My parents were quite wealthy. My wife's parents were not. Her wife, the wife needed him. She's a broke idiot. She needed him monetarily, not love-wise. When it came to parenting our kids, I always spoiled them a bit too much. It was one of the biggest reasons that my wife and I used to argue about. We eventually agreed that spoiling them too much would not be wise. But this year was different. My wife went against everything we had discussed before. In June, she gave Sarah a new car without even discussing things with me. A Model S, not a cheap one. Dang, Two a Model S Tesla? Wife... About, about 90, 100. About 150 right there. That ain't a cheap gift. That is, I see why Sarah ain't tell. I ain't gonna lie to you. A hundred fifty thousand dollar car for me not to tell you that you cheating on my daddy. That make it a little bit more uh, convincing. Bought an apartment in Boston for the twins because apparently living in the dorm was really stressful. Again, she didn't discuss this with me. The issue was not the money. My wife and I are very successful, but out of nowhere she started giving them gifts. These two are the biggest examples. It caused some fights between us, but her excuse was always the same 2020 was being really hard on them. I asked them point blank that the reason yeah, they're- 2020 was being hard on them and Bill was being hard on you. <laughs> that was giving them those gifts was to keep them quiet, but they didn't answer. They just said that they didn't want to hurt me. I admit that at that point I lost my temper. I just told them in a not very nice way to get the F out of the house. I packed my things. Yeah, I ain't gonna got lie. Dogs, you gotta be mad at your kids Marshall. after that. I own a ranch outside the city. It's a miracle that I didn't end up dead considering that I was definitely not even a little sober. Against the odds, I arrived safely there. For the first time in 46 years, I almost spent Christmas alone. But there he was, my new best friend, a bottle of Blue Label. <laughs> we haven't met before, but I got to say, we actually bonded pretty well through the holidays. I was a mess. I cried more in the next five days than I had cried before in my entire life. Dang. It was definitely not pretty. The only thing that kept me sane was my dogs. I honestly didn't. The dogs knew that Bill was clapping. The dogs saw it. Don't, don't trust the dogs either. The dogs was wagging their tail while your wife was wagging her tail to Bill. I'm speaking the truth right now. If you don't want to listen, I don't know what to tell you. Them dogs is the ops too, just like Sarah. Know what to do. I kept asking myself. The wife probably bought them dogs a new collar or something. The only thing that crossed my mind was visiting my parents. My mom died in 2013. She was hit by a drunk driver Dang. and didn't survive the accident. My dad died only four months after that. He lost his battle to lung cancer after treatment for almost four years. My mom wanted to be buried in the city where she was born in Brazil and my dad wanted the same, so I buried them there. It was hell. I was very attached to my parents and I didn't have a place to speak with them. I have Brazilian citizenship since my parents were born there, got a COVID test, which followed the recent trend in my life and came back negative, bought a ticket. <laughs> 13 hours later I arrived in Brazil. Eight hours after that I arrived in the city where my parents are buried, small city, less than 20,000 inhabitants. I spent night drinking scotch with my parents. I could feel my dad's disappointment from beyond his grave. Dang. Surprisingly creepy, I miss him. That's where I am so far. My phone was blowing up with calls and text messages from everyone so I just decided to not recharge it anymore. Not sure how I'm going to proceed. I'm just sinking in my own misery at this point, living day by day. That was in the chat, man. That man. Okay, so we got to recap what the heck happened. He not only got betrayed by his wife that he's been with since they were 13. Like, think about it. 13. That's all you freaking know. I don't even remember what the heck happened when I was 13 years old. But just imagine the only thing that you know. Like, the beginning of your memory start brain thingy. Beginning of your life. All you remember is this woman. And you were with them since you were with them that whole time. That's all you remember. She's all you remember. You've been with them. You had multiple kids with them, with her. Wait, something ain't adding up. They've been together since they was 25. I mean, they've been together for 25 years, and they've been together since they were 13. 25 plus 13 is what? Is 25 plus 13 is 30. That's 38. But then they kids is like 25 or something like that. They had the kids at 13? I think I did my math wrong, actually. You know, I think I'm stupid. I think I did my math wrong. I think it all adds up. I think the kids is like 22 or something. And they had the kids at like 19 or 20. I don't know. I don't know. But all we know is that he got betrayed by that woman. Plus, he got betrayed by his three daughters because all them hid it, hid it from him for a, a stupid model, hundred, stupid $150,000 Model S and a new apartment in Boston. That's probably another two, two $3,000 a month. All for those stupid, expensive, valuable things. You hid it from your dad. I was in a chat for that, man. 
Pray hit emojis in the chat for that, man, actually. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Let me know, what would y'all do if y'all was in his situation? You've been with this person for so long, you found out they cheated on you, and not only that, they found you found out they cheated on you, but your brother, as well as your kids all knew. What would you personally do at that point? I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I can't say that on YouTube. But that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, I know you will enjoy this video right here, so watch that. Just watch it. I, I don't like spoiling my videos, but I, I need y'all. It's Just watch it. It's definitely worth watching. But that's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.